welcome back to the channel. We have tons to talk about, so let's get right to it. In the Bible, God makes it super clear that our relationships with other people are very important to Him. Some examples are bear with each other and forgive one another if one of you have a grievance with the other. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. A new command I give you, love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. And the king will reply, truly I tell you, whatever you did for the one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did it for me. Huh. Call me crazy. Crazy. Our relationship with people is not only important to God, it seems like it's completely connected to Him. And Jesus set the perfect example for this. Think about it. His relationship with God the Father directed his behavior, directed how he interacted with people day in and day out. Some say that Jesus would measure how well he had loved God by how he had loved those people around him. So again, that vertical relationship with God is directly connected with our relationships with other people. But in order to overflow your horizontal relationships, first you need to fill your vertical one. And this is nothing new, you guys. We hear this all the time. God first, God first. But I want us to be able to understand that there's a reason why we have to put God first and how God first is directly connected to loving people second. When you focus on the vertical and you feel it and you feel it, spend more time with God, do a little bit more, do it every week, go to youth group meetings, spending more time with the word, you keep doing that and you just keep feeling that vertical relationship with him. And you don't stop when you reach the top, you keep going. Your relationship with God is going to be so full that it's going to spill over and it's going to spill over on all your other relationships, friends, family, co-workers, strangers on the street. How you love and treat others will automatically be impacted. One of you recently asked me a question about how do you share your faith with other people and how do you invite them to church? Now, I know some people have like strategies, some guidelines for this, but honestly, there is no real secret to inviting people to church. You simply invite them. And if they say no, okay. Wait a while or wait for another opportunity to come again and invite them again. Don't feel that you have to force them. Instead, pray for God to be softening the outside of their hearts so they can receive God when they're ready to receive God. Remember that every single person is in a different point in their relationship with God and some still need to open their hearts to God. Don't feel that it's your job to break those walls. That's the Holy Spirit's job. You pray for them. Your job is only to remind them that they're always welcome. Reminding them occasionally, hey, remember that youth group thing? on Mondays, we're still doing that. You're still welcome to come if you want to. Every now and then, if they say no, cool, if they say yes, great. That's the only thing I'm gonna say about invitations. When it comes to sharing your faith with people, there's more than one traditional way to do it. If your relationship with God is solid, and by that I mean if you're seeking God, if you're spending time with Him, if you're trying to learn His commandments and you're growing with God, how you treat people will show that. How you behave will show that. And your lifestyle will show that. You know what I mean. A big, ginormous part of sharing your faith, and I didn't learn this until two years ago, I think, is letting people witness your faith. So people get to see how you act differently because you're a child of God, how you are different, how you live by different standards, and everything you do is affected by it. So simply by watching you and how you live your life can be a form of sharing, being a testimony to people around you. If they can witness it, they will know that they can turn to you for when they want prayer or when they have questions that they want answered. They will turn to you. Trust me. I would have friends sometimes call me in the middle of the night, friends that I haven't spoken to in years, just needing me to pray with them really quick over the phone. And it felt amazing to know that I represented Christ for some friends of mine. So know that if your life is being focused on your relationship with God, people will notice that and people will turn to you when they're ready. And if you find someone who is struggling with something, that you used to struggle in your life and God worked in that something and turned it around, then tell them. Share with them a simple, I've been there, no fancy language, no preachy tone, none of that is needed. A simple, I've been there, I get it, I struggled with that too, 
this is my story and this is how God brought me out of that. Those moments not only allow you to connect with other people who can see you as human as they are, but it also allows you to have an opportunity to share with others what God has done in your life. By doing that, you allow God to use the little you can offer for something great because everything we do is nothing but nothing is everything in the hands of God. Let God work in you and through you for others. Why? Because it's all connected and it's all for His glory. All right guys, thank you so much for watching this video and for following along. You guys are awesome. Thank you for all the emails and the requests, the message on Facebook, on Instagram, on Snapchat, on everything. And you guys find me everywhere. You're awesome, thank you. If you haven't subscribed already, you're welcome to do so to do so <gasps> Kill it. Fruit. join the fam if you like to the button is down below it's a big nice red button see right there you see it you see it you see it yeah click it willingly of course if you like this video please leave a thumbs up and make sure that you leave your sweet sweet thoughts down below including your comments and your questions concerns and any thoughts you have i absolutely love reading them i'm so thankful for all of you so thank you guys i will see you guys next week and behave i love you make smart choices bye guys i'm horrible